hey guys, in this video, I am not happy. I am very upset. This thing is really pissing me off and there is nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Okay guys, now that I have your attention, I'm gonna tell you what exactly happened to myself, my girlfriend and my housemate. Basically, we have other tradition in my house and we do quite a lot of big birthday presents and this year was one of them. And uh, my girlfriend really, really, really wanted to buy me some tickets to see one of my favorite DJs, which is Fatboy Slim, but something happened. You have to really realize that I have nothing to do with it. As you know, I was busy myself working full time, doing my social activities with New York Journey in Britain, and obviously it was my birthday present, so I didn't supposed to know anything about it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you what I really knew. I mean, one day my housemate, she came to me and said, Oh, Nai, what do you think about going to Fatboy Slim London? That would be cool. I looked at her and said, yeah, you know, I really like Fatboy Slim. He's one of my favorite DJs. You know, I would like to go to, but there is a problem. Like, I'm broke. I don't have any money. Like, I spent everything. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to go to. But if you want to, I give you some advice on how you can get the secondhand tickets. So I advise my housemate to look at Get Me In, which is a page where you can buy secondhand tickets. My girlfriend and my housemate, they decided to buy three tickets, two for them and one for me. And uh, what they did is they looked on the page that I told them and they saw that the tickets they were £80 each. They thought it was very expensive. So uh, they ended up looking in different places. And my girlfriend realized that in Facebook, in the official page on Fight Boy Slim, they were selling tickets for £40 each. What a bargain, 120 so it's almost half of the price. And they thought in sending a message to this lovely lady who was selling these lovely tickets. After carefully analyzing which one was the best option, obviously, they realized that the best one was this lovely girl with his lovely boyfriend who were selling these fantastic tickets for £40 each, half of the price and get me in, come on. The lady said that they can only have the tickets whenever my girlfriend sends the money for them. But my girlfriend was like, oh no, I mean, I don't know you. How can I send you the whole amount? I will send you half and then you can send me the tickets. So that's what they did. Next day, my girlfriend didn't have the tickets. So she decided to send her a message and said, oh, what's happened with my tickets? And this lovely lady was like, oh, actually, uh, my boyfriend went mental at me. He said that, how can I give you the tickets if you didn't pay me the whole money? You know, I need to have all the money, then I can give you the tickets. No money, no tickets. My, my girlfriend was like, well, actually, you know, you told me something different, but at least, you know, can you send a picture of the tickets? So if I see a picture, I know you have the tickets, I will trust you and I will give you the rest of the money. But this girl said, well, if I take a picture of the tickets, you can print the picture from online, take it to the place and then you will have the tickets. So I cannot send you the, the picture. And my girlfriend said, oh, well, you know, fine enough. She checked with my colleague. And then they said, well, we already pay her some money, so we better pay the whole amount and then, you know, we'll see what happens. And that's what they did. Next day, my girlfriend spoke to this girl. She looked in her inbox. Nothing here. Okay. She went to work. The next day, she looked in her inbox again while she was at home. Look. Oh, nothing here. And then she was really nervous. I was in that moment in the kitchen and I thought in, baby, what's happened? What's wrong? You look a bit weird. And she didn't want to say it. I was like, oh, that's wrong. That's not right. Normally she speaks everything to me. So I asked her again, baby, what's happened? And she said the whole story. And I just went like, what? Next day, she went to the police station. She reported it. But she lost the money and she lost the tickets because she bought it by a bank account transaction and they couldn't cancel it. There was no money on the account. In conclusion, I am not saying that buying through Facebook or through Cakelix it is bad, but I would recommend you to buy always using PayPal if you buy things online. And then you always have an insurance of one day. In case something happens, you can always claim it back. I mean, you have like 120 days, I think it is, since the time you buy it, but have a look online in the, in the PayPal website. And uh, also, if they're asking you to pay by cash or by credit card, uh, what you can do it is you can just 
go to the place, see the things physically by hand, and then give them the money straight away. Or if it is a big amount, then send them a bank transfer so they can check it straight away and they got the money. Thank you very much. Have a good day, guys. Don't be so full like me. Bye.